Hello, my name is Mike Butcher. I'm the editor at large for TechCrunch. TechCrunch has 20 million readers around the world. It's based out of San Francisco. Um, I'm a journalist. I've been a journalist for 25 years, but for about 15 of those years, I've uh, concentrated on technology startups, writing for TechCrunch, uh, mainly from Europe, but also, also the Middle East, Africa. Um, I cover venture capital, startups, and all the crazy scene that this is all about. Um, it's really cool to be at Web Summit, uh, to, even though obviously it's uh, slightly smaller than it was, it's still a lot of people. Um, but you know, uh, it's a lot of fantastic uh, content here, great speakers, um, it's a very safe environment, which I think is fantastic. And uh, it's just wonderful to be back in the real world. In terms of uh, Northern Europe and Scandinavia, um, it's just been such an incredible hotbed of startups in the last 10, 15 years. Uh, you think of companies like Klarna and Spotify, for instance, uh, who've emerged from that scene. And um, you know, and I think one of the key to it is that the education systems in those countries is of such a very high standard that uh, you get great, talented people who can um, and, you know, think creatively and scale a technology company very quickly. Um, and and of course, these days with so much remote working going on, you can have that company built remotely from anywhere. You don't necessarily have to be located anywhere in particular, but it's still crucial to have that talent. Some useful things to remember when you're trying to become an entrepreneur or create a startup is to get your story right, is to, to get your messaging right. Boil it down to simple messages. Um, relate yourself to what else is going on in the marketplace, so that people can understand what, what you're doing. Um, and boil, boil it down to like you know three, max four, essential points. You know, uh, what's the problem you're solving? How are you solving it? What team have you assembled to, to do it? Uh, you know your experience, uh, and what do you want to do next? Are you raising money? Are you launching new products? Those kinds of things. Just do get those main points down, and then when you actually try to explain people to people what you're doing, um, start with the problem that you're solving first, then talk about the how you're doing it. Don't start with the product because it's a little bit too confusing to people if you just jump straight into it. And I think also practice. Uh, one of the things you'll notice about how North Americans are able to pitch uh, their companies and their, and, and their messaging is that they practice, practice, practice. They research, they don't, sorry, not research, they rehearse what they're saying over and over again. And it's so useful to have somebody be able to explain something because they've rehearsed what they do and they, they can get it down in 30 seconds, elevate a pitch, uh, and they can pitch their company and they can tell you what they're doing very, very quickly and very easily. And that's, that's really helpful um, when you're interacting. Because once you've got that person interested in what you're doing, um, bang, you've got them. Um, trying to be uh, too vague, or is you're going to lose people very quickly. So practice, rehearse, rehearse and boil, boil messaging down to maybe two, three maximum points that you want to get across.